What's up, everyone? Today, we're going to be modding Scarlet Nexus to work on ultra-wide resolutions on the PC because it's 2021 and Bandai Namco still can't get there together. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people watched my Code Vein video and it helped them out, so hopefully this helps people out with this game. I know a lot of people that play that are going to play this, even though they're completely different games. You know, they're both Bandai Namco. They both have that anime feel and, uh, I don't know, it just seems to be a common theme going on. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, it's a very simple hex edit and injection you'll see here in a minute. A couple of little weird things to look out for, but overall it works pretty well. Uh, and, you know, when you're playing the game, it's really nice. It looks beautiful. So the first thing you're going to need is HXD. Go ahead and download that. I'm going to have everything in the description. Uh, so go ahead and, you know, check out the description before you go ahead and get started with the video. It's going to have all the resources there that you can check out uh, so you're ready to do this. So once HXD is downloaded, go into your game's directory. Uh, if you purchase it on Steam, it's going to be in your Steam folder, Steam apps, common, and then Scarlet Nexus. If you pirated the game, uh, first of all, you know, go buy the game. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but you know, th this directory is within the Scarlet Nexus folder, you know, the structure should be the same. So you can follow along as well. Uh, so once you're in this folder, go ahead and ignore this main exe file. The one you're going to want to work on is under Scarlet Nexus and then binaries and then win 64. So you'll see Scarlet Nexus win 64 shipping.exe. That's the one we're working on. Go ahead and make a copy of it, which I've already done, just in case something gets screwed up along the way. You don't have to redownload the game or check file integrity or anything like that. You could just, you know, delete it and work off the new one. Uh, so go ahead and drag that exe into HXD. You're going to see a bunch of weird stuff popping up. Uh, and that's how you're going to know it's loaded. It's also at the top here. You can see the, the file name. Make sure you drag the right one and not the copy, because then you'll have to rename the copy, rename this one, and it turns into a big thing. But anyway... Uh, this is going to be very simple. So we have some hex, some hex values that we need to replace. Now, uh, the values that you need to replace are going to depend on your monitor's resolution. So one really good source is this WSGF page that has a bunch of uh, common hex values. Uh, so, you know, you, you're going to see a list of aspect ratios here, as well as some common resolutions. And this is what you're going to want to reference for a lot of these uh these hex editing mods for ultra wide resolution. So uh, in my case, I'm using 3840 by 1600. So this is going to be the value that I'm going to be focusing on. I think most people will probably be on 3440 by 1440. So this is the value that you're going to want to focus on for the 32 by nine people. I believe when I was running 32 by nine, I was using this. Uh, however, there are different 32 by nine resolutions. So, you know, go ahead and try it out. It may or may not work. I can't guarantee it. But as far as these three resolutions go, you're pretty much going to be good to go here. Uh, so you're going to want to go back into HXD at the top, click on search and then click on replace or control R for short. From there, you want to make sure that the hex values tab is selected. It's going to default to texturing. You don't want that. You want hex values. Click on that and you're going to want to copy and paste this value here, 398E, E3, 3F, and that'll be in the description as well, because uh, obviously you can't copy and paste it from a video. So, you know, check all that out, put it in a notepad like I did or something, and, and it'll be good to go. Now, the value you want to replace it with is going to depend on your aspect ratio or resolution, like I mentioned earlier. So mine's going to be this one right here for 3840 by 1600. I'm going to paste it into replace with. And I like to search all directions just in case something's above or below. We are at the top of the file here, but, you know, if you've scrolled down, took a look around and, you know, forgot to go back up and it's set to forward, then you're not going to find it. So I just click on all. And then once the two values are set, just click on replace all. So you can see here, it replaced one occurrence of it. The next value you want to search for, so you could do control R and HXD just to get there real quick is on the second line here, the one that starts with D7. It's a longer value, so just take note of that. Copy and paste and search for, and you want to replace it with the other D7 value. It's slightly different. Uh, and once again, make sure you're on the hex values tab. You want all selected here, and you want to click on replace all. So it replaced one occurrence of that. From there, you can click on the save icon. You go to file save. You could press control S probably, something like that. And once that's saved, you go ahead and exit HXD. 
From there, you're gonna to want to run the game. So I'm gonna run it from Steam directly just to make sure everything's working. Next time I wanna play, it's gonna be easy. I don't have to go into any directories. And once the game is running, we are going to inject it. So it's running here. I'm gonna skip all of this. At this point, the game is not gonna be running in ultra wide. So just take note of that. There is an extra step. And there are some mods for the game, actually. Uh, quick uh, any file mods, which is just text files. Uh, if you change some values there, supposedly the game could look a lot better. So I'm going to take a look at that. And if it's worthwhile, I'll do a video on it. It should be really simple to do. And from what I'm hearing, it actually uh, improves things pretty nicely. So uh, I would go ahead and take a look at that first now. Once you're in the game, you can tab out. Uh, make sure your resolution is correct. So 3840 by 1600, it's going to be on full screen by default. I would recommend running it in borderless. Uh, and the reason for that is once we inject it, it's kind of janky to go back in and out of the game. So I'll do it in full screen anyway, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And if we go to start a new game here, uh, you'll see on this character select screen that the game is still running pillar box. So we have black bars on each side of the screen. Uh, this is going to change as soon as we inject it. So character select is actually an indicator of whether the mod is working or not. You don't have to start the game, which is really nice. So go ahead and tab out. From there, you're going to want to run uh, UUU, which is uh, Universal Unreal Unlocker. That's going to be in the description as well. Once it's running, you're going to want to click on select and you're going to want to select the Scarlet Nexus process. And then just click inject. Uh, you're going to see some stuff going on on the top left of your screen here. And that's that. The game should be running in ultra wide. A couple of things to note, which I will show you in a second here, is the, you know, like I mentioned, the first thing is getting back into the game is a little janky. So I'm clicking on the icon on my taskbar. And you just get to see the screen's kind of flickering. So it took maybe three or four clicks. Uh, it took a lot more than that when I was testing this earlier. So, you know, your experience may be a little bit different. That's why I would probably recommend running the game in borderless windowed. So if we tap back over to graphics here, switch it to borderless. You can see that's still running in ultra wide. Uh, and if I tap out and tap back in, there are absolutely no problems with that. So let's go ahead and start a new game real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and skip everything so nothing's spoiled. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and skip through all this. Uh, while this is running, I'll just tap out and give a shout out to these guys over here at uh, on the WSGF Discord. Have to live. No these are the people what. that figured it all out. So shout out to everybody in this Discord uh, who helped out with this. I'm just putting in a video form for people to hopefully understand it a little bit easier, but it's all here. Virtual brain link cable Definitely check out their Discord. Connected. I could maybe link it in the description below, but Google it just in case, because be uh, I'm not sure if this invite is gonna work, Systems but all green. yeah. SAS cable connection. So I'm gonna skip this, uh, but before that I do that, you can see that the cutscenes are running ultra wide as well, and the FOV for those are fixed, is fixed, so. You don't have to worry about anything being cut off the screen. Uh, and I've compared this with 16 by 9 gameplay. The FOV seemed to be correct. Uh, if you want to change it, you could change it through uh, the UUU program. I haven't done that yet, so I'm not going to say anything about it, but it should be pretty easy to do it. Uh, you know, there, there are different options in here that I haven't messed with because I don't see a reason to do it yet. Everything seems to be working perfectly, so... The only thing to note is that the HUD is centered in the screen, like it would be on 16x9. And when you go into the menus, you're going to see some pillar boxing still. So, you know, just take note of that. But other than that, the game runs in in ultra wide and it looks great. This runs is great. I'm getting 144 ready. frames, so much. which is uh, my monitor's refresh rate. So not fixed, probably just caps it at that instead of being completely on unlocked. Uh, either that or it's because it's on borderless, which is most likely the case. So let's go back here, full screen it. And then now uh, you can see that I'm also getting 144. So 
<laughs> it is what it is, but it's super smooth. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, and that's it. Simple as that. All right. Hope this helped somebody out out there. Have fun playing the game and see you in the next one. Peace.